Before we get into today's video, I'd like to thank AOA.com for sponsoring this channel. AOA is a third-party website that buys and sells all Rocket League items, including credits and blueprints. Use coupon code JSPAY to save 3% at checkout. Alright guys, so just so you know, this is going to be a different type of video. Um, we are doing a quiz on the current virus that is going around. Um, you know, last time I mentioned it by name, I got demonetized, and uh, that's definitely happening a lot on YouTube right now, so we're gonna try and avoid that. But um, I just kind of wanted to preface the video by saying that uh, the objective of this video is to spread information, um, help people be aware of, you know, what to do in this situation, what not to do. Um, hopefully curb some of the misinformation that I've seen floating around out there on the internet recently. Uh, you know, some of the people trying to take advantage of the panic and uh, cause issues, all of that. Um, there are a couple of questions that have slightly humorous answers or answer options um, that are really just meant to be glaringly wrong. And I think other YouTubers have definitely said it well that uh, sometimes in a rough situation situation, um, you know, you need to joke about things, you need to joke about what's going on in, in order to uh, cope with your feelings. I know that personally, you know, that really helps my anxiety. So um, I just wanted to put that out there before anybody went and uh, started saying like, oh, you're making fun of the virus like you know you're disrespecting people who have been affected and um i really that is not what i'm trying to do i'm trying to spread information you'll see after the questions i go on to elaborate and uh try and uh give as much information on the subject as possible so uh with that said let's just go ahead and start the video Alright guys, so we've got our first contestant here for the quiz. Um, this is Veen. How are you doing tonight, Veen? I'm doing pretty good. How about you? Yeah, doing alright. Definitely, definitely glad to have something new on the channel for a change. Um, I'm not sure how much you have heard about the recent epidemic going around. Uh, if if, if uh, you listen to any news at all, probably quite a bit, am I right? Yeah, I've heard a lot about it. Yeah, so um, this is going to be our first question, just to kind of start us off. Uh, what is the duration of a mild case of what we're talking about? Uh, you've got multiple choices here. Uh, choice one is one week, choice two is two weeks, and choice three is five weeks. Remember, we're talking about a mild case, something that, you know, a 20-year-old would get. Okay, like, will it be a choice two then? Yep, yep, you got it. Choice two, two weeks, and that's actually why the whole two-week quarantine thing is going around. Well, thanks for participating, man. Definitely appreciate it. All right, thank you. Yeah, any idea what you might spend those on? I've been trying to save up for the Black D season. Oh, Stuff like okay. That. Yeah, that's a good answer for sure. We've got our second contestant here. This is going to be X Void X. How are you doing tonight, man? Good. How are you? Yeah, pretty good. All right, for sure. Um, staying healthy, that is for certain. Um, uh, our, our second question on this quiz for you is going to be, uh, what is the most vulnerable demographics? What are the most vulnerable demographics for the virus. Uh, choice A, elderly and college students or other young people in concentrated areas of population. Second choice, elderly, newborns, and immunocompromised people. Or third choice, travel vloggers. Uh, elderly and babies or infants, newborns. Yeah, Second. choice two, right? Yes. Excellent. You got it, man. Very good. You're listening to your news and that is what we like to hear. So, I'm not even sure if I told you what the prize was going to be, but we're doing... Oh, jeez, I had I had a whole lot more credits than I originally thought. Um, it was originally going to be 100 credits per 
uh, answer, but I just realized I bought more today, so we're gonna go ahead and do 200 per answer. So if you wanna go ahead and put something up, those are yours. Got an idea of what you're gonna put those towards? Um, to be honest, I don't know. Yeah? All right, well, I, I, I hope it's something that you enjoy. I hope it's something that makes your car look even nicer than it is right now, because good lord, that is a sick design. Um, Thank you. Ha, ha, have you uh, submitted anything to the design contest yet? No, I haven't. Oh, you might want to do that, honestly. I mean, uh, just a little secret, not too many people have submitted yet, so if you get uh, one of those nice designs I'm seeing in, uh, you probably have some pretty good chances. So, if you want to take a look at that video again, you know, one category is budget, other category is uh, ignition series. Alright guys, and we are here with our next contestant for the quiz. This is Perp. Uh, he's been around the channel for quite a while. Long, long time supporter. How are you doing tonight, Perp? Overall, tonight's been pretty good. How about you? Yeah, I'd say so. Um, definitely be. Uh, I'm glad to be making a different type of video. Um, I heard that you know you've been a little more on top of the virus news as opposed to um, some other people. So here's uh, one of our tougher questions. Um, and you know, in the whole scope of things, not many of these are tough. But uh, what is a wet market? A is it a open air fish market? B, is it an illegal underground flea market? Or C, is it an open air market for a variety of animals where they are slaughtered on site? Okay, that, that question was not expected. I wanna say it's between A and C. I'm gonna go with C. Excellent, you got it, man. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. And uh, the relevance of that is because, um, you know, the virus originated from a wet market in Wuhan. And uh, it's happened quite a few times in the past where viruses have originated from wet markets just because of the kind of uh, gross conditions, to put it at a very, uh, to put it as an understatement. Um, lots and lots of animals crowded together and, uh, you know, it turns into a lot of viruses being passed from species to species. Uh, I'm not you can sure just if keep I have this, that. man. You can just keep it. <laughs> oh, but I'm supposed to be giving stuff away, man. Oh, uh, man. That's all right. I, 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 I know that you probably <laughs> probably can definitely spare it, so I'll go ahead and take that. But uh, <laughs> th thanks for uh, participating, man. Um, oh. That's pretty dope that you got one of our, our toughest questions. <laughs> oh, man. I was glad I was able to answer it. Excellent. Well, thanks as always for your support. Um, stay safe out there, and you'll see yourself on the video very soon. Oh, sounds good, man. You stay safe as well. Um, this is Chase. Uh, he's actually been a long, long, long time supporter of the channel. I know that I say that for a few people, but with him, I really mean it. Like, literally, literally week one. So, uh, how are you doing today, Chase? Besides being tired, I'm absolutely phenomenal. <laughs> okay, that's good to hear, man. I am so tired, too. I... I, I don't know, I've just had a full day and I'm trying to crank this video out and it is, let's see, 2.15 a.m. So let's just go ahead and get it done. Um, how is COVID-19 primarily transmitted? A, contaminated food. B, respiratory droplets. C, playing patty cake with a sick person. <laughs> you know... Are those the three answers? <laughs> yeah, those were the three. As much as I want to pick C just for the memes, I'm gonna have to go with B. <laughs> Yeah, you got it. I, I thought that was so funny. For for some reason, it hasn't occurred to me that people are expecting like an option D, because that's usually a thing, right? Yeah. <laughs> but for some reason, like I've just been assuming that like everybody knows that C is the last one. Yeah. T tell me, were, were you gonna say something though? Oh, I was about to say. I was just about to go to sleep before you messaged me back. Oh really? Dang. Yeah. yeah, I feel like that happens a lot. 
because I'm usually filming late, late, late at night, and <laughs> I message yeah. people and they're like, dude, I'm in bed, like, don't get me out. Um, I just realized I'll have to bleep that, but it just goes to show how freaking tired I am, right? I don't even yeah. censor myself. Um, all right. Well, thanks so much. I appreciate, as always, you've been a great supporter of the channel for a long, long time. So we've got our next participant here. This is Alex. Uh, how are you doing tonight, man? All right, doing good. Uh, what about you? Yeah, the same, the same. Um, your question is going to be... Does the CDC recommend that healthy people wear masks right now? Uh, answer A, yes, everybody needs their faces covered at all times. B, only if you're really paranoid. Or C, no, those masks should go to those already sick and healthcare professionals. C. <laughs> Yeah, you got it, exactly. Um, you know, there's a lot of people out there who think that wearing a mask is going to protect them from inhaling a virus. And of course, you know, healthcare professionals need them. And uh, currently there's kind of been shortages. There's some people who are actually hoarding them. So uh, that's, that's the correct answer. Glad that you're keeping up with your news. So <laughs> <laughs> there's right. that. Um, let me go ahead and find a camera, and okay. we are good to go. Thank you very much, man. Alright, no problem. Have a good day. Yeah, you too. Enjoy the 200 credits. <laughs> okay, thanks. And we've got our next contestant here. This is Rex Shocks. Um, he's been around the channel for a while. Great guy in general. Um, uh, throughout the video, I've been asking our contestants how they're doing this evening, but uh, he's actually got a bit of an echo on his side. So um, we're just going to skip that part and go directly to the question. Uh, so, Shocks, your question. Can you catch COVID-19 from packages from China? Uh, answer A, yes, if the packaging employees are sick. B, no, China is disinfecting all outgoing packages. Or C, no, the virus cannot live on a surface for that amount of time. Ooh. I'm honestly going to have to go with A. I haven't really been doing my research on this, but A is probably what I'm going for. Because... Ah, okay. Yeah, well, I can understand what you're saying. You know, there are a lot of people out there who have uh, been worried about that. You know, there have been even some fake news articles kind of fear-mongering about that. But um, the actual answer is C. Uh, you know, there have been studies done on how long uh, the virus can live on different surfaces. So um, that's the answer. Sorry I didn't get a prize this time, but um, I think we still still will give you a little bit little little something for for your participation Let's go Yeah, so um, we've been doing one uh, 200 credits for correct answers And I think we'll just go ahead and give you 100 if you're cool with that Yeah, I'm fine with that. You. All right, perfect. We'll go ahead and throw in my own alarm clock but uh, yeah, thanks for participating, man, and thanks for the support on the on the channel. No, but you deserve it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> All right. Well, enjoy the rest of your night. Stay healthy and keep watching the vids. Bye, Jack. And we've got our next contestant here, Arctic. Um, he's been around the channel for a little bit now. How are you doing tonight, Arctic? Good. How are you? Yeah, pretty good. I appreciate you participating in this. Um, you are going to be question eight. Um, so, uh, considering the current testing capabilities of the U.S., considering how we're not doing that great on that front, um, should the average American be tested at this point in time? Uh, answer A, yes, everybody needs to be tested ASAP. No, uh, answer B, no, you probably don't have it. Or C, only if you are, uh, only if you have known to be in contact with an infected person or are developing symptoms and it is re recommended by your doctor. Uh, 
Well, I know that, like, you don't always get symptoms, so... I don't know, like, how many tests they have, so I'm just gonna say A. Uh, okay, so, uh, w w w what country are you from, just out of curiosity? Uh, the U.S. But, uh, yeah, actually, it's, uh, C, um, just because we do not have as many tests as we need right now. Um, we are actually very, very low on tests, and, uh, because of that, you know, they, they really need to be going to the people that need it most first, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Um. So, I feel like I still wanna, you know, uh, Make a while to take a few minutes and come and do this with us. So, um, even though you didn't get the question right, I am still going to give you a hundred credits. Okay, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome, man. Well, thank you very much for participating, man. I appreciate your support on the channel. Thank you. All right, guys, so we are here with our next contestant, Flyer. Um, Flyer is actually from Norway, and, you know, I was just kind of telling him it's cool how this YouTube thing has really allowed me to meet people from all over the world, and um, I really enjoy that. But uh, in any case, how are you doing tonight, Flyer? I'm doing very good. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm doing great, man. Um, I think you're going to be our second to last contestant. Um, your question is, how long are you recommended to wash your hands for? Uh, A, at least 20 seconds, B, roughly one minute, or C, until they bleed? <laughs> it, I think it's A, 20 seconds. Yep, yep, you got it, exactly. I mean, obviously it's always better to wash for longer if you've got that time, but the uh, recommendation by most doctors and disease prevention organizations say that at least 20, 20 seconds is enough time. And, you know, a lot of people are thinking that hand sanitizer is the same thing as washing your hands, and it really isn't. Um, hand sanitizer can trap and deactivate the virus on your hands, but it still remains on your hands. Um, with soap and water, the soap particles will absorb the virus and once you wash it off with water, you know, it'll be completely gone. So that's just a little misconception that I wanted to clear up with this question and I'm glad that you got it so quickly. <laughs> hey. Yeah, so 200 credits is your prize. If you want to put something up, I'll go ahead and try and find the same thing. And we'll be good. Oh, let's see. I I don't think I don't need to. No, just but do it. I already got a couple, man. I, okay. Here, there you go. Okay, thank you. <laughs> yeah, thank you, and uh, thanks for the support in general. You know, it's always great to have people that are regularly watching the videos, and um, now you're gonna be in one. Yeah. <laughs> well, you enjoy the rest of your night, man. I'll see you next time. Okay, bye. Alright guys, and we've got our last contestant for the last question of this quiz. Um, this is Tom. Um, he's actually a really great friend of mine. Um, he actually lent me the striker white emeralds that were in that showcase video that I did a while back. Um, honestly, I might need them in that video, so if you want to check that out, go ahead. Alright, Tom. I'm doing very good, mate. It's uh, almost well, it's, it's 20, 20 minutes to midnight. Got work in about eight <laughs> hours, but I, I, I'm good. Oh lord, you're you're doing it for the content, man. Yeah, you're supporting man. your your YouTubers, man. Um, I totally forgot uh, that you were in the UK, and man, it was five hours ahead. I am sorry about that, but this will be quick. Um, all right, last question: If you are young and healthy. Is it still okay to go out and socialize right now? Uh, answer A. Yeah, young people are invincible. Didn't you hear? Answer B. Only if you limit the number of strangers you make out with on a night out. Answer C. No, duh, it's irresponsible and can contribute to more people getting sick. Well, I would say that probably C would be the better answer. Mainly because the the less the less amount of the coronavirus being spread out, the better. Obviously, 
I'm not exactly. Exactly, I've not kept up with how exactly how bad it can be. But I would say C would probably be the better option because the, the, the less the less amount of people that have the coronavirus. The... Yep, yep, exactly right. Yeah, you got it. And um, that general concept of spreading out cases so that the healthcare system isn't overwhelmed all at the same time is called flattening the curve. You know, um, you and other people watching this video might have heard that on, you know, some sort of social media that's going around a lot right now. People are talking about social distancing and flattening the curve, stuff like that. So, yeah, you know, even if you are young and healthy, even if you've got an immune system that will. 99% most likely fight it off without a hitch. Um, it's very likely that you could carry that virus and give it to somebody elderly, uh, somebody very young, somebody immunocompromised, and end up causing them uh, a very serious illness. So even though, you know, it's tempting to continue going out, having parties, having fun with your friends at bars, uh, now is not really the time. So I'm so very glad that you know what's up and we can end on a informed note. So uh, we'll go ahead and give you your 200 credits here. And uh, thanks for participating. Thanks for being a supporter of the channel. Um, I really appreciate all that. All right. Well, thanks again, man. Uh, appreciate your participation. And hopefully you can get some sleep now, now that I'm out of your hair. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind, man, for the content.